99 years is more than a lifetime. But memory outlasts human life because it becomes a part of history. The collective continuing memory of humanity. Some may ask, why is it necessary to remember after 99 years? It is necessary because a crime against humanity cannot be forgotten. To forget such an atrocious act would be another crime, just as to deny the truth of the event is also a crime, a further crime against the victims and a crime against their children and grandchildren and all their descendants yet to come. Sadly, the genocide of the Armenians is denied not only by the perpetrators but also by our own government in Washington. The very same government whose archives contain innumerable documents that attest to the annihilation of the Armenians. The very same government that helped rescue thousands and thousands of Armenian orphans. The words of Martin Luther King Jr. resonate in our minds and souls. In the end, we will remember not the words of the enemies, but the silence of our friends. Thank you, Your Eminence. the senior senator from the great state of New Jersey, Bob Menendez. Thank you, Dr. Perez, and good afternoon. We are here to commemorate the 99th anniversary of one of the darkest events in human history, and it is one that we are committed never to forget. Today, as we remember, as we keep faith with those who stand up to injustice anywhere and everywhere in the world, we honor those who lost their lives, we remember how they died, and we pledge ourselves to change the way that history remembers their deaths. To me, all men and women of goodwill understand that genocide is genocide and cannot be called anything else but what history reminds us. Every year, every year we come to remember, but this year, as chairman of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, I introduced a resolution to put the historical facts in black and white in undisputed terms and that resolution passed the Senate Foreign Relations Committee earlier this month, the first time a resolution has been reported out of the committee in 30 years. And it passed, and it passed despite intense lobbying and opposition by the Turkish government. But the resolution recognizes the simple fact, the simple but powerful fact, that the Armenian genocide was a genocide and is a lesson that we cannot pick our genocides and must stand together against all crimes against humanity. The statement this week by the Turkish Prime Minister again seeks to ignore the simple truth, trying to portray the deaths of 1.5 million Armenians as nothing more than the consequence of the First World War. No different than any other death that occurred at that time. And he quoted a Turkish proverb that states, 
fire burns in the place where it falls. Well, that may be true, but it makes a difference whether the fire was self-ignited or it was an act of arson. The first is an accident, the later is a crime. The resolution passed by the Senate Foreign Relations Committee reaffirms in the strongest terms possible that we will always remember this great tragedy. It expresses the sense of the Senate that we remember and observe the anniversary of the Armenian Genocide on April 24th, and that the President ensure that the foreign policy of the United States reflects the appropriate understanding and sensitivity concerning issues related to human rights, crimes against humanity, ethnic cleansing, and genocide documented in the United States record relating to the Armenian Genocide. Ten minutes. After 99 years, that is simply not too much to ask. In my view, we must not make it the policy of the United States to turn our back on man's inhumanity to man. We cannot turn our backs to the victims, not in Armenia in 1915, not anywhere that genocide occurs. And anyone who tries to create a nuanced approach serves only to empower those around the world who would use genocide as a weapon of war. We cannot permit that to happen. And so, we stand here together once again, this time with the United States Senate's Foreign Relations Committee standing alongside with you after 30 years of silence. And we cannot allow silence to take place because I am reminded what Adolf Hitler said when he was being asked about what he was doing to the Jewish people and he said, oh, that doesn't matter. Look, look at the Armenians. Who remembers the Armenians? We stand here together at the crossroads of the world to say, we remember the Armenians. We remember those who died. We remember their survivors. We remember their children and grandchildren. And we will never, never forget. Join me in welcoming Armin to the stage. Because we owe it to all the people we love. That's why we never, ever give up on the cause. Because we owe it to all the people we love. New York City. Let me see your peace signs a day at one time. Come on.
Thank you. And a special thanks to the Armenian Radio Hour of New Jersey and its director, Professor Vartan Avdo, and his associates for the live worldwide coverage from Times Square. To invite His Eminence, Archbishop Hajat Barsamian, primate of the Eastern Diocese of the Armenian Church, to offer the benediction. Anunhor, Yevortpo, Yevokpuin, Serpo, Amen. O Christ our Lord, we ask that you remember your Armenian children who perished in the Armenian genocide of 1915 and your children who suffer wherever injustice and violence destroy the innocent. Bless their souls, Lord, for they have borne afflictions in your name. Today, here in Times Square, in Armenia and Artsakh, and across the world, your children are grateful to be united in spirit. We bless the friends who stand by our side. We remain strong and defined in the face of denial. We give thanks for the opportunities of this great country of America. But above all, Lord, we dedicate this day to our ancestors who endured the Armenian genocide and astonishing 99 years ago and who have taught us the power of faith and the indestructible quality of the spirit. We recall your very words, Lord, when you spoke on this power of the spirit. You are the light of the world, you said to us. Let your light shine before all humanity. Those words hold a special meaning for us as we gather on this 99th anniversary. For we see, Lord, that with ever passing here, we come closer to saying a final farewell to our elderly survivors. We know that life will be different for our entire community without their beautiful presence among us. But we remember what you said on such people, Lord. They are the light of the world. And indeed, our survivors were the light of our world. Their story burned like a torch of truth and they brought light to all our lives and their proud descendants we now accept the duty that falls upon us now we must be the light of the world as armenians and as christians we must let our good works shine before the world so that the example of the Armenian people leaving, departed, and yet to be born will always be a light of truth to honor the memory of our martyrs and to glorify you, our God. This is the power of the Spirit, the power of renewal, and the power of faith which gives the deepest meaning to our gathering today. It is your gift to us, Lord, and through it, we embrace the gift of your resurrection and the gift of God's love for all his children. May that thought be in our hearts throughout this day at our commemorations and memorials and let it guide our thoughts, words, and actions as we prepare for the milestone year of 2015. Amen. I'll
Ιουτιούν, Ιευζορουτιούν, Ιεφάρ, Αβιτιάνες, Αμέν.